Good morning, I'm Zach Lajway with your News for Jack's update. An event that honors families of fallen police officers will go on as planned despite the tragic loss of a skydiver. Members of a skydiving team were practicing ahead of their dives at this weekend's Crawling for the Fallen event when one of the jumper's parachute did not deploy on Friday according to authorities. Rescue crews found the jumper's body late last night. The skydiver has not been identified. The team is from South Florida. The team will jump this morning to honor the skydiver. The event runs through the weekend in Stark. A Jacksonville City Councilman is expressing concerns after a member of the council tested positive for COVID-19. Aaron Bowman says he lost confidence that appropriate safety measures are being taken. He says members agreed to have plexiglass partitions in place and expend funds needed. But after seven months, little has been accomplished. Bowman is calling for immediate action to mitigate the spread of the virus inside the chambers. City Council member Scott Wilson tested positive for COVID-19 on Monday. That meeting was canceled. This morning, a father and son accused of murdering Ahmad Arbery remain in jail. A judge denied bond for Gregory and Travis McMichael. State attorneys released tapes proving Gregory called his former boss the district attorney first assigned to the case after the shooting. Arbery's death sparked nationwide protests earlier this year. McMichael's attorney says this case goes beyond race. It's deciding whether or not he was acting within the means of the private citizen arrest law. Ahmad's mother watched the video of her son being shot in court for the first time. Her attorney says Ahmad was confused and had no idea he was being attacked. For the latest headlines throughout our region, head to our website, newsforjax.com.